Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, here to read one scripture followed by Pat's Two Cents. Ephesians 6, verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. We are in a season where evil is glorified and darkness is magnified and things of the occult, the devil, witchcraft, all of that. It's, I mean, it's, it's mystified. Everybody is just so engrossed in this time of year. And the sad part is, this is when the biggest doors get open. You know, one of the uh, uh, of our YouTubers mentioned how not only was witchcraft and the demonic and the Ouija board, not only was that an open door for the demonic, so are the sins of the flesh. Well, that's true. But you also have to be careful because what ends up happening is you have entertainment, you have movies, you have movies of sorcery, witchcraft, the demonic, you have evil uh, all over the screens now. And it is really, really, really getting more and more intense. What you end up with is a world a world of people a society that is engrossed that is that is engulfed in the things of darkness they're engulfed with evil and and the powers that be and we're not talking about the government right now so you know let's get something that's bugging you with this hair we're not talking about power um the government we're talking about the demonic now I just want to share with you that you as Christians, you got Christians and you've got those that don't believe, right? Well, for those of you who are Christians, you need to cover yourself, especially during this time of year. You need to ask God to dispatch guardian, warring, ministering angels around you 24-7. You need to pray over your car before you get on the road. You need to pray over your house when you leave it. You need to pray over the things that happen in your body. Pray them down. Pray for divine, supernatural protection. Trust me, there are people out there who do worship the devil. And while they're worshiping the devil, they're praying as well. But they're not praying to the Lord. They're praying to the devil on behalf of evil overtaking and coming against God's people wearing out the saints beating them down fight against it through the spirit now excuse me we've already shared about the weapons of our warfare and the weapons of our warfare remember are not carnal but are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds so you have to use the word of God that's the sword of God that's the sword of the spirit you have to use the helmet of salvation the shield of faith I mean you have to go down the list of the armor the spiritual armor and it's not a literal armor okay so praise is another weapon I found that out when I battled a demon through praising God. And I was shocked at their response. And I said, "Uh uh-huh. So then I chose to torment them. I said, okay, you're going to trespass. I'm going to make you good and sorry that you ever attempted. And I praised God and made them stay there till I got good and ready and got through messing with them. And then I sent them on their way and told them never to return. You can't, I mean, yes, we do fear demons when we're first starting out and we're encountering them. But trust me, the more you get to know God, the more you get to know the things of the Holy Spirit, the workings of the Holy Spirit, the power and authority that's in the name of Jesus, you get to realize 
that there's nothing, no, no one, there's, there's nothing around f to fear other than God himself. Because he created good, this is scripture, and he created evil. So when you think that someone can overtake you with evil because they've been in it for a long time and you've only been walking with the Lord for a few days, you have to remember God will protect you like a mother protects her baby. You talk about a, an angry lion protecting its cub. God is the lion of Judah. Don't mess with his babies. Trust in God taking care of you. Don't trust in the demonic. Don't fear the demonic. Be angry with it. Be annoyed by it. And tell it where to go. As far away from you as the east is from the west. You need to not only take authority, you have to get to know God's word. God's word. Hello? Yeah, it's not only a lamp unto your feet, but God's word is a whip on the back of the devil. It will whip those demons right out of your presence. They'll go running, baby. And another, one more weapon. Most people don't talk about it. Is resistance. The Bible says, if you resist the devil, he will flee. You can't cooperate, ho-hum, be mamby-pamby, be passive. No. Uh-uh. You've got to resist with all your might. Do or die. I refuse to give in to that nonsense. You won't pull me back. No. Nah. That's the attitude. You almost have to have that, that killer instinct that they say boxers have. Boxers are willing to do whatever it takes to win. You've got to be willing to do whatever it takes to drive out the enemy. You hear me? I mean, you've got to drive out the enemy. You can't just take him for a walk and show him the exit and point the way out. No. You drive that bad boy out. That's the attitude. Okay. We're going to move on with some other issues dealing with the demonic, taking authority, and the kind of things of spiritual darkness you have to be careful, especially in this season. Okay, we're going to come back. God bless you. Be encouraged. Don't be afraid. Fear is not of God. Amen. <music>